Hello ladies and gentlemen of Art of Conquest, it's Smash Mode. I have just woken up, it is 6am in the great state of Texas, and no matter what time it is, where you're at, it's transmute time. Um, before we begin, I just want to show you this, these, these timers are getting crazy. This is with the 20% uh, build speed, so uh, I don't know, it might have been 200 hours or something like that, so... Yeah, we're starting to get to those uh, Clash of Clans timer status over here. <laughs> Gonna be seeing these timers in my dreams. Finally, all these items. Finally get to do something with them all. Alright, well that's enough yip yip out of me. Let's begin. I, have, I hope we get some good things from these. So for every four green items that you transmute, you're going to get 40 of the crafting gems. So it's 10 each for the green ones. Alright, so far, items that we've seen before. Nothing special. Okay, that's new. Um, I'm just going to transmute it. I don't, I don't see us having to use for it, but that's, that's neat to have a little green banner that we didn't have before. Oh, okay. So, when you transmute four, four green items, you have a chance of getting a blue item. And it is part of the Avalon set that you get from uh, slaying the bosses. Pretty cool to get a second one of those. Okay, so they have added a few new items. Give a lot of new players more options. Right, we should be getting to the blue items pretty soon here. So far, nothing impressive going on with these green items. But then again, that's to be expected. You can't expect too much from the common items. Alright, when are we going to get to those blue items? <laughs> well, I, more gems though. The more gems we have, the more stuff we can craft. There's a new one. Magic Limit Plus 2. Oh, that's neat. Especially for a common item. Pretty cool. We're about to get rid of it though. Bye bye new item. <laughs> it doesn't want to leave. It just came again. Also, um, I will leave timestamps. Because this video is going to run a little bit longer. So if you don't want to see all the uh, all the common items and whatnot, I'll put uh, timestamps for when it went from common to rare to epic. Another little set piece. I, I mean, it would be cool if you get three of them. Because, you know, early on you could have possibly three magic heroes with an extra plus eight. To, to mana. That's pretty cool. Alright, there has to be an end to these green items soon. I, I don't think I had that many. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. This is taking forever. <laughs> Unless uh, it's an item that we haven't seen, I will click on it. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, that little potion. Let's see what it did. Okay, it's just two to mana. So I must say that so far this update it's it's great. I think someone now could be really competitive if they put in the time as free to play it is cool that you have so many options now I, I, before it felt it felt like you know your main the main option was money and i think now time is going to be a huge factor 
dedicated players are going to be able to hang in there with people who are putting up money, in my opinion. Fortunately, I don't have time to test that theory. Um, if I ever do get some free time, though, I would love to grind out a free-to-play account. That's a new one. A little plus two command trinket. Cool. Come on, green items. Oh, what's this? Ammo wagon plus one. Doesn't have any stats, though. Kind of wish it would have. Here we go. We're finally getting into the blue items. So here's a few of the new ones. All right. Yeah. All right, so that was the ammo one again. Alright, a Rufio set piece. Yeah, so this would be a way to make second sets. That's a cool sword. I like that. If you had that sword on all your characters, you go to bed, you wake up with 15 energy. Ooh, there we go, an epic. Plus 10 to bronze cap. Pretty cool, loving that one. 20% XP. Um, we're going to need to hold on to that one. Um, yeah. Ah, well, it's going to keep coming up, auto. Oh, well, I, I'll craft it later. I already have the... Uh... Very nice. That'll be, that'll be good against the little spiderlings. Pretty, pretty good helmet. Plus seven to stats altogether. You don't find those on rares. Wow. Damage against mech units plus 30%. Yeah, these new items, they really allow you to specialize against who your opponents are. We needed that. Especially for that anti-lich PvP. That's what I'm going to be gearing all my items towards. Wow. <laughs> Loving that one. That is a beast of a sword right there. Okay, so possibly lower morale by 50% with this item. That's what I guess it would be, another 10%. That's what we need right there. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to have to keep breaking them down though, I don't want to wait. That would take too long to click it in and out. But that summon swordsman. You eventually need it to summon the uh, the gold unit at level 8. Which is so important. You want to summon those. Uh, personally, my favorite thing right now is the summon swordsman in the back row. You summon them right into their archers. I mean, it just it ruins their day. Alright, that was another set piece. Getting a lot of set pieces here. Is 
and it looks like the blue pieces are just double the uh, the green pieces. They're given 20 of the gems each. That'll be very good against Lich players. Now, the problem is, is it doesn't say how much higher morale. I mean, it could be 1%, 10%, 20%. It would be nice to get a better tooltip right there. But I would assume 10%. Make your tanks a heck of a lot tankier if you get that full set. There's the Avalon set helm, Rufio set helm, another Rufio set helm, <laughs> a lot of set pieces. Very nice helm. All right, I gotta. Once we get to the purple items, I'm gonna have to pay attention to what we're breaking down. Some of these are very nice. And now you won't have to just buy this one in a store. You could get it just from transmuting four blue items. Took me forever to get that banner originally. Very good item for Valari. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think that's the only person it would be good for. Awesome for dwarves. I was always running out of ammo. An extra 10% would never hurt. Okay, 20% frost damage. Oh. Yeah, I mean, 20% more healing for that favor of God. Hopefully they'll have uh, that in a an epic version and a legendary version. Some epics. Oh, 15% injury increase. That's. Yeah. yeah, with that item, with that set, you could get up to, uh, yeah, 99%, maybe even 100%, depending on what your. Uh, yeah, you could get up to 100%. If you have one of the. Uh, one of the rolls from the king. That'd be fun to go raid people and not worry about any of your uh, units dying. Nice. May have to put that set on somebody. Another Avalon banner. There's a new one. Vanquish your chest. Allied units start battle with higher morale. Okay, so that would be the epic version. I, I think we saw a, uh, a rare version earlier. That's good. Mm. 
Mana barrier plus one. Never can have too much of that. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of army cap increase items now. Macy players with full gold armies. And I mean that without borrowed units, of course. <laughs> See, there's another bronze cap increase set. Okay, a lot of things we've already seen. Come on, we need some epics. Give us the epics. There we go. Oh, we've seen this one. Still a pretty cool item. Good tank helmet. That is awesome. That extra two seconds. I mean, you could throw a frost out there so fast. We should be getting to these epic items pretty soon. Okay, there we go, finally. Alright, so before I break down the epic items, because I don't want to have to click them one at a time, this video will run probably like an hour if I do that. So we're just going to take a quick look at just some of those items. The new ones, not the stuff we've seen before. So this is just going to make, you know, very tanky. An extra, extra 20%. Lowers the cooldown on... Uh, maybe even... I, I wonder if that would work on Vega. I'm not going to check right now, but... Uh, it would be cool if it was Vega as well. Uh, this will keep your summon archers out there an extra 5 seconds, which is a lifetime in battle. You know, really need need this set against Lich players. Perfect for raiding if you get this full set. Just yeah, for dwarves, tear up those walls. Give you some more summoned units with Gazul when you finish that set, and just turn one of your DPS heroes into a beast. Extra 30% attack speed. Okay, and we still did not look at this sword yet. Um, also, uh, it looks like it would be 20% um, less damage. I believe that's what they mean by mitigation. So that would be magic damage and melee damage. Alright, so we're going to start breaking down all these epics. Hopefully we get some, some cool legendaries. Yeah, we've seen this before. Nothing special. And, um, oh, that looks really cool. So good for your, good for your mage. Get the frost. Extra 20% damage. Decent stats on the run. So each uh, epic item that you transmute gives you 50 crystals. So for a total of 200.
I don't have Valari, but if I did, I'd be very happy to have that item. Oh man, that's that's what we need. Let's make Jaquez stronger, because he's not strong enough. <laughs> Plus one to rocket launcher, making him even more of a beast than he already is. Alright, another Valari item. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Come on, show us the new stuff. Spider web plus one for the rose. Stats aren't too good on it, but... Yeah. Alright, we've seen that one already. Ah, that's nothing special. Come on, something new. Uh, I, I really do like this item. Um, it also comes in a plus eight version as well. There we go, finally. I think I already have this one though. Yes, yes I do. So you can get legendary items. Alright, this is part of that morale set. That shield is... Uh, sorry, real quick. I just gotta compare it to my other shield. Um, yeah, that's that's better. I mean, this does give the Lionheart Blade, but I don't want to accidentally break that down. We're going to equip that. Alright, back we go. I've yet to see a, a bow. I mean, I know the little racking guy gets... Uh, bow item okay right, sorry one more time I gotta equip that chess piece Let's see Avalon um, somebody needs it I do not want to throw that thing away there we go Let's see if anyone else needs it Oh no, that's the suppression fire one. Really important set piece. Sorry, we're going off track here for a second. Alright, let's get back. Yeah, we've already seen that one. Alright, it's almost going to be legendary time. Yes. Alright, so let's try this with all four legendaries, so we're guaranteed to get one. Nope. Alright, drum roll. Maybe we'll see one of those. <laughs> and the new special items. Uh, I think they're pink. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yes. Oh, we got lucky. Check it out. It is a Jaquez item, which is unfortunate for me because I don't have Jaquez, but 10 might and 1 defense. Yes, please. Thank you. And for each legendary item you break down, you get 100 gems. Um, next video, I'm going to go over crafting for, be for beginning and intermediate. I have a, a lot of ideas. And once I... Uh, once I clear out the uh, endless, the void level, I will come up with some ideas for in-game crafting. I thank you all Smash very much for watching, mode. and I hope you have a great day!